This is an insane cast production. You are listening to Thanks for Watching the All Movies Podcast with your cast DJ, DJ Beth, 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 Joe, Joe, Joe and, Jimmy. and Jimmy. And now, thanks for watching. For watching. All right, let's start the show. Okay. I'll, I'll start, it, bro. I'll, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Word. You're Good right. then. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready now. Do it. Let's pull out of the station. <laughs> yes, do it. That's right. <laughs> Welcome to episode 94 of Thanks for Watching. We're recording this Monday, December 30th. Oh, yeah. It's the last, the last podcast of the, the Ducati. Deca- the Ducati. Deca- 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 That's right. Deca- no Deca- more. Right. I'm DJ. He is. Hi, DJ. I'm Jimmy. Hey. I'm Bev. Yay. I'm Joe. Good job. Yay. Yeah. Look at that. Nailed it. We introduced ourselves. We that was nice. We're like grown-ups. <clears throat> we are like grown-ups. How was, how was everybody's weekend? <clears throat> Uh, um, Christmas was busy. Yeah? yeah, that wasn't really the weekend, but no, that's true. But it's kind of call it a long weekend, honestly. <laughs> for you, for me, some of us had to go back to work after Christmas. I didn't. That's right. I so I called in sick so the day after you Christmas. Ass what? Hat. I did. So I'm the and only I... one who had to go back to work. So I had to work Christmas Eve, I had mm-hmm. Christmas off, and then I didn't go back to work until today. Yeah, I went back on all the days. Well, you're better oh, wow. than we are. Nope. Um, I just can't I'm not work. I'm the same as Joe. You got oh, the same wow. you I, took the same days. All right. I I yeah. had Christmas Eve, I I worked, and then Christmas uh day and the day after, I well, I called in sick the day after, and then I went to work on Friday and then I called in sick on Saturday, so... Well, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Yeah, that really sucks. I'm, and I went to work today, but it was only like... I feel like I'm at 80% capacity energy level, you know? So... I walked uh, 9,700 f- steps before 1 p.m. this afternoon. Rock on! Wow. Way to go! It's so busy! Sorry. Is that all at That's work? A, yes. Holy crap. That's a lot of dog walking. Yeah, are you walking a bunch of dogs or something? Yeah. Didn't oh, you see my Marco Polo poop. with my giant Great Dane and my fluffy St. Bernard? And the... And the I didn't yet, actually. The sausage in my hair. <laughs> sausage in your hair. <laughs> like, you had legit sausage in your hair? Well, legit. as the story goes, Baby Ginger, the six-month-old St. Bernard, is at work, and I love her. And she has sausage in her breakfast, and I guess she had some stuck in her face. And when I hugged her, it transferred to my hair, and I didn't notice. So I just had sausage hair for like sausage two hours. hair. Nice. Yeah. And then yeah. when I was hugging her again, she's like, "Ooh, your hair has sausage in it." And I'm like, "Oh well." <laughs> oh yay! <laughs> I, you are just saving it later. Or saving it for later, baby Ginger. Saving it for her, yeah. Saving it for her. She stored it in your right. hair. Yep. To get yep. more hugs. What I really wanted to know was why Steve, the guy I work with, didn't say. Hey Beth, there's sausage on your head. Yeah, it's, what, what's up? What's up, Steve? <sighs> so, was it like a whole link or something? <laughs> I think I probably would have noticed just a wiener on my head. A big w- <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna oh, say no. like, <laughs> hey, you got yeah, a maybe wiener you on just your head. didn't notice. <laughs> Excuse me, there is a wiener on your head. <laughs> It would be different if it was like a whole link. No, that no, yeah, that he would probably definitely would have different. mentioned it too. He right? would definitely not tell you. He would take copious pictures and call you wiener head. Nah, Steve's not that cool. He'd just be like, "What's that on your?" Oh, and then that's that's an accurate representation of Steve. No, uh, it's, I like Steve already. You don't trust me. He is oh. a poo hole. Um, poo hole. Yep. <laughs> That's not but, one you often hear. Well, I pride no, myself really. on my creativity. Um, no, it was just like ground sausage that's hey, in her home um, that you put on top of her kibble. Part of a sausage pate. Yes, exactly. Go. Well, cool. now everyone knows all about my sausage head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whether they were on that 
the Marco, Marco Polo, Polo or, or not. not. See, <laughs> if you were a Patreon subscriber, you would be on you the Marco Polo, it. and then you could see the video that I took of the Great Dane, <laughs> where I had sausage upon mine head. Yep. Exactly. I don't actually know if I had it on my head at that point. Anyway, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, we're we're not sure. I couldn't see it. Well, it probably blended in with the red hair. <laughs> my hair is so well. bad right now. Yeah, oh. Thank you for that's the thank you for trying to make me feel better about it though. <laughs> well, I guess that makes it a red herring. <laughs> wah, wah. Oh god. god! Where's my consternation <laughs> tuba? Jesus! <laughs> hey, I'm medicated. I can't help it. And yet, Why we're still always medicated this bad. <laughs> Blame it on the drugs. That's right. That's what uh, most people do. Dayquil is an amazing drug. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'd like it. The dequeel. Uh, dequeel, it's right. Well, hey, uh, we're going to talk about movies today, just so you're aware. Cool. Uh, we've, yeah, we've got uh, Uncut Gems and Spies in Disguise. Oh, the we're pigeon movie. Yes, the pigeon movie. Don't let the um, pigeon drive the bus. Your mom would let me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> You guys... Not that one. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> God, yeah. Uh, <laughs> then we'll have all the ever other, other things we do every every week. So we'll we'll have all that entertainment news. Cool. Hey, Iowa Hawkeyes were in San Diego. Woo woo woo! <laughs> and they destroyed even... USC. Yeah. It was yeah. yeah. It was like forty-two to twenty something. Oh wow. 49 Did, to 24. There you go. 49 24. It was pretty even until the first half or and, even into the third quarter really and then it just went nuts. It was yeah, pretty they, even and they, then it just weren't anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh second quarter they went ahead by one touchdown I believe. Oh. No, two touchdowns and then they got another two up in the fourth quarter and yeah. The USC was just standing there like a bunch of used Trojans. Oh, God. That, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh lordy. Oh, wow. Well, they were probably laying there because used Trojans don't uh, stand. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hel- Helen of Troy would understand. Yeah, that's that's, that's I didn't need that. I didn't need that visual. Mm. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Human uh, brain works in pictures, Jimmy, just so you know. Uh, yeah. Actually, not also, all of them, but oh, a lot of them. Uh, a lot of them do. Yours does. They're yeah. yellow brain. They're, <laughs> hey, oh, oh boy. <laughs> also, there was a, 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 a fatality in in the world. Finish it. Um, a death. Uh, Neil. Oh I guess, my gosh! Yeah. The the writer, one of the songwriters from Monty Python, they called him Python Seven. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tough. that's and then, sad. Right. Um, let me pull it up again. My apologies, folks, for this oh. interruption. Yeah, wait, the interruption. Now, where the and hell did so... it go now? Now I look like an a-hole. You know what's really cool is if I miss like these quiet marks in editing, um, the the cool app um, that you can listen to our podcast on Overcast. Mm-hmm. It has it has this thing called Smart Speed, ah. and it and it speeds past the blank spots. I don't even know how it works. It's like magic. Oh. Santa Claus gave it magic <laughs> dust, and it's just like. I listened to our podcast on it. I was like, wow, we sound amazing. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Overcast. I recommend that one for sure. Ne- Listen to us. Uh, on. Neil Innes. Oh. Innes. That's right, Innes. Yeah, he was a songwriter for um, for the Monty Python franchise. Place. Also, another uh, Don Imus. Uh, oh, that's it. Passed away as well. The talk show guy. So, yeah, the yeah. talk wow. show guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Um, and I'm not sure where I know him from, but I know the name. Maybe he, it's because I've read it. I don't know. He feuded He's with Howard around. Stern for many, many years. Uh, okay. Now it's He's all been around a long back. time. Yeah. It's like he was Howard Stern before Howard Stern ever came uh, around. Howard Stern was doing different stuff. Don That's, Imus was I mean, very... Yeah. 
I don't know. It's he hard was to more political in it uh, versus what is his name? Uh, Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Definitely more vulgar, I suppose. Mm. Anyway. Hmm. All right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, if you like how the show is going, send us a text or a uh, an email or something. Uh, you could get that on our website if uh, if you uh, wanted to. No, if you wanted to, our website's uh, <laughs> tfwmovies.com. Thank you, thank you. I, you know, eventually I'll get there. Um, you could text us at five one two podcast. Uh, that number is five one two seven six three two two seven eight. But it's so much easier to remember five one two podcast. It is. <laughs> so, like Beth, what's the number? Five one two podcast. No, yeah. Okay. What's well, the number? Number. I don't know numbers. Five one two podcast. There it is. That's what I podcast. said. I Just <laughs> translate it. Uh, yeah. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> if you don't remember alphanumeric paging and texting, uh, go take a little trip down uh, memory lane on the internet. And the cool thing is, is if if you're in the uh, if you're you're texting on your smartphone, and you just type in five one two podcast, <laughs> you'll send us a text message. But here's the really cool thing: if you don't like the podcast. There's something you could do about it. You could join Patreon and give us instant feedback. <laughs> oh, I like it. How about that? That's a good idea. Patreon.com slash DFW movies. You would be like a director. Oh. I'm, I'm just saying. You could be drunk just on the power saying. just like us. Right? Ooh. That's true. Um, and you can also contact, uh, contact us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We've got all those. Just just ask uh, the wonderful people that get tagged in uh, that, all that stuff all the time. <laughs> that, that's you guys. That was really smooth. Thank you. If I was a Patreon member, I could give you instant feedback. Yeah. Y- yes, you could. The, wow. I forgot I put that on my Pinterest. Hello. Whoa. Uh-oh. <laughs> so here's here's a really good New Year's resolution for our podcast listeners one it's a it's a two-part resolution two part give thanks and realize how much you love this podcast and two share it with a friend i like that yeah, it sounds good sure share it with the friend yeah or even an enemy we don't care just as long yeah. as they're listening <laughs> who cares yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's true. That's it. Hey, uh, we're, I'm, I'm making a video for y'all on the on Patreon, by the way. Right now? It, it's one of the early videos. Oh, dear. The early release videos. I have a movie I got to review, and, and I'm going to put that up for you guys. Mm. So. Got Yay. It. Uh, I'm not doing it right this second, though. Ah. Yeah. Oh, good. Because I'm busy. I'm busy recording a podcast right now. Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what's happening. Cool. Yeah. Well, hey, let's talk about uh, a, a couple of movies, shall we? Sure. Those movies that have sidekicks that we really like. Mm. Oh, I know. I know. There's yeah. a lot. There's a lot of really great ones. Um, and let's kick it off like we do every week with Crackhead Blue. Blue. Yay, Blue. Just so you know, All right. I totally spell it B L O O O O O O O O O. Blue. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. So our first <coughs> one is uh, her first one is Star Wars. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. There's lots of um, there's lots of uh, sidekick sidekick. <laughs> Duo is in that one for Duos, sure. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Oh yeah. Um, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yep. Oh yeah. And then what is this, Joe? Are you just hacking the keyboard? Or fix it? <laughs> <laughs> no, the you Princess Bride. Yes, you should, should have definitely tried to make him pronounce whatever you had oh, written. Oh yeah. That would have been good. <laughs> He'd have been like, uh, uh, uh. It, it would have been 
<laughs> okay, the Princess Bride. Excellent sidekickery in that. Yes. Castaway. Aww, oh, so awesome. yeah. It's a good idea. So sad. Oh my Christ! I'm thinking about it. Oof. Right. Oh, the Big Lebowski. Uh, why you got to Okay. Damn it. And she has three honorables. Seven. Oh. Yeah, that one with the seven in the middle. <laughs> You nailed it, man. Word. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Home Alone. Yep. 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 Good side kickery there. And Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. That's, yeah. Yes. And uh, just so you know, Crackhead list, Crackhead Blues list was the beginning and the end. <laughs> Crackhead list. <laughs> Crackhead list. Everybody has stuff to do. It's Christmas week, man. There yeah, it is. It's Christmas and time. I, I don't blame them. That's the thing. It's okay. I'm this glad. is good. Again, part of this show is for me. <laughs> Not just for... I mean, it is for the listening audience, but it's also part of it's for me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Moving on. All right. Cast list, shall we? Sure. All right, number one on my list is UA Jeff. Cool. Cause, you know, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Bob the um, Clown. Bob the Clown. Um, Star Trek with Mr. Spock. Oh. Like the sidekick that I really like. Sidekick, I mean, yeah, uh, definitely. Sure. Well, I mean, I'm not going to debate it. That's Joe's uh, job. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. Yeah. Sheriff <laughs> Joe, what's the ruling? <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't call Spock a sidekick, but that's fine. That was uh, well, exactly yeah. the way I felt about it. It's like, yeah. eh, okay. I'm Let's sure he it. would. He would not call himself a sidekick. So cool. He would not. Uh, he, uh, um, yeah. He's a major character. Captain Captain Kirk would have been the sidekick to him. <laughs> He's got his own show going on. Like, yeah. He's his own thing. It's a very logical yeah. show. Very. It's like a documentary. <laughs> yes. Wayne's World. Ha! Wayne's World. Yeah. Garth. I call him. Hey, hey man. Sure. Who's trying to kill you? Yeah. I don't know, but, no, they, better but they better not. <laughs> oh. <So good. laughs> That's such a good one. Oh, line. yeah. That's I picked good. Star Wars as well, and I picked Chewbacca for the my favorite Aww, um, sidekick. Chewy. And then the Green Hornet, Hornet with Kato. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, See, the thing about Star Wars, they do chain side kickery. Chain side kickery. Okay. Like the Just kid. Follow the, me. The I'm, like, I'm on this train. You've Let's got, go. You've got Luke Skywalker, his sidekick, R2D2, right? Sure. For sure. Yep. R2D2 sidekick is C3PO. Okay. Yeah. So there's your chain. There's It's a small yeah. little. Like a yeah. short bus chain. It's like it's everybody is everybody's sidekick. Right. Yeah. And then you just switch to another movie and someone else is added on. So Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It's a very friendly franchise. Yeah, everybody loves everybody. Except for the people who yep. hate other people. That's true. And they do a lot of kumbaya. Well spoken. And even those ones have sidekicks. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But They're just uh, always bad sidekicks. Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the rule of two. Yeah. So, uh, but for those who love everybody, baby, oh. Austin Powers, mm. uh, Mini Me, I would have to say is a great sidekick. I would agree with that. Yes. Amen. Um, and the film Kick Ass Hit Girl is a pretty kick ass uh, sidekick. Okay. Yes. Um, and then the Lone Ranger, um, Tonto. Okay, good. Yeah, that's my list. That's a pretty good that's list. That's it. Thank you. Solid Thank list. You. Yeah. It's pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, it's that's very the ticket digital see. as well. What about you, Joe? Uh, Who are your sidekicks? All right. I'm going to go with Goose from Top Gun. Oh, yes. good one. Yep. I'm going to go with Silent Bob from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Yes. Excellent, good. And I'm going to go with Ed from Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> Shaun of the Dead? Ed. And then my honorables, I just put Star Wars. I didn't call anybody out specifically because right. there's a lot of sidekick action So many in that. sidekicks. Yeah. Uh, 
the dog from the Road Warrior. Oh, good. He just oh. calls him dog. He doesn't have a name. Yeah. It's just dog. And then Pedro from Napoleon. <laughs> there you go. Yes. That's it. Yeah. He was a great sidekick. Yeah. Yeah, Pedro's the best. Vote He's for Pedro, guys. It. Vote for Pedro. Is that a smash hammer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I should have. Uh, that's on my list. <laughs> okay, great. Then we uh-huh. don't say anything. Go for it. <laughs> Go, Beth. <laughs> on my list is Turner and Hooch. Obviously, oh, there are so dude. many great like dog movies where the dog oh, is yeah. the sidekick. So we'll... Hooch, I got a muffin for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is not your room. I say that to Egon all the time. <laughs> Um, yeah. Also, I do have Ghostbusters on the beautiful. I actually met a dog de Bordeaux, and it was ginormo, and his face was so smooshy that I just like stuck my hands in it and hmm. mooshed around. It was so much fun, <laughs> and he was super lovey. Uh, I did put Ghostbusters because they're like all each other's sidekick. Oddly enough, they sure are. Um, Star Wars is on there. Also, um, oh my goodness, my nose is all of a sudden like. <clears throat> Super, oh. super squishing. Um, Mine too. I put uh, the dark crystal on there. Oh. For Fizzgig. Oh, nice. yeah. Fizz Underrated gig. angry sidekick. He's awesome. Yeah. Um, there was. I didn't write my list down. I was doing it while I was driving. So uh, I know there was one other that it was just like serious. So when we're done with, <laughs> when we're done with J- with uh, gems, I'm sure I'll have it by then. Got it. Oh, Sweet. also, like most Robin Hood movies, have a little John that are super. Ra- oh yeah, super fun. Uh, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going, Beth. They're not me. Oh wait. Uh, oh. No. Ah, okay. Blazing saddles. Blazing saddles. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Yeah, there we go. Also, if you've ever seen uh, the Frisco Kid, that movie's fantastic. And <laughs> yes, the Harrison Ford, um, Gene Wilder dynamic is really great like i'm yes. not sure who's who's sidekick it's good it's a weird movie has anyone else seen this movie no no uh, yes oh crap it is a weird movie though okay so i'll I'll just have to inflict that on you guys later <laughs> so moving on okay jimmy incredible boy oh there you yes. go even though Mr. Incredible didn't want him. Yeah. He inserted himself as he sure did. Yeah. That's why I like him. He's got grit. Um, Salah. Ah. Oh, you beautiful. know who I'm talking about. Beautiful. Totally. I named a rental well, car Salah. <laughs> <laughs> from out. Indiana. Indiana Jones. Bad yeah. dates. <laughs> um and uh, Jimmy Olsen. Okay. Yeah. And then honorable mention, which I'm surprised nobody said, Robin. Like, oh, like Batman Robin. and Robin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No joke. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it has to be people you like. Yeah. I mean, I, I get it. Nobody likes DC. I'm just kidding. Burn. Nobody likes DC. I'm just kidding. I'm oh just kidding. my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I like There's... we we like Wonder Woman. That's about it. <laughs> Wonder Woman <laughs> kicks ass. <laughs> she does. That's true. Well, that's our list, everybody, and we're we'll sticking to it. It'll be up on our website later on tomorrow. Which so will the show. So, double whammy. So, when? I said double whammy. Yep. Double whammy. That's it. That, yeah. So uh, with that, uh, it is uh, time for your favorite part of the show. Oh, my favorite part of the show? Oh, yeah. Stuff we're putting in our eyes. Oh, just shoehorn that stuff in there. Yup. Yep. Careful. It sounds aggressive, there it goes. actually. Cramming it. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Be careful. So, um, let's start with... I don't know which one to start with at this point. How about the bird one? Okay. Spies in the Skies. There you go. There we go. This was uh, your classic love story between 
a boy and his Science. need to create silly gadgets that give people hugs. Ah. Isn't that yes. like uh, Baymax? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> a so. A silly gadget that gives people hugs? Yes. <laughs> that's right. Good. That, that's a good one. Thanks. Excellent. Yeah. So, uh, really, when uh, the world's best spy is turned into a pigeon... He must fly on his nerdy tech officer to save the world. Hmm. Oh, he must rely, not fly. I can't read. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he has to rely on the nerdy tech kit. That's right. Cool. Yeah. So, um, nice. well, I don't know what to say about this film because there's so much, Did so you much like hilarity. <laughs> I love this film. Good. Uh, there's so much silliness and slapstick. Uh, there's, okay, there's a scene. I, I'm going to com do a comparison really quick. So did you ever, do you remember watching the film uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Yeah. Okay. And then there's the scene where he gets stuck to, where, where Spider-Man, uh, Miles, gets stuck to peter Par b parker's web and they end up accidentally getting hooked onto the the uh light rail yeah and get dragged all over and like slammed into things and just hilarious i mean i just had a belly laugh when i saw that <sighs> okay now to this film there is some gooey pink substance that sticks to everybody oh. and and it causes some some hilarity where people are like running into things and just it's just hilarious cartoony anvil type stuff which i think is hilarious i know you like a good anvil drop <laughs> i do <laughs> like a good anvil drop uh so that is uh that is what i really liked there is a scene that is pretty close. I'm gonna have to say fourth wall breaking. Ooh, yes, That's another one of your and favorite things. Oh my god, it it is. And here's here's what it is. He it's at the beginning of the film. Uh -huh. Are you going to <clears throat> before you do this? Does before this I do this, spoil <laughs> any pertinent information that people don't want to hear before they see the movie. Not particularly. Uh, duck, duck, duck. I mean, does it? Yeah, that's. If no, you say not, not at all. That means yes. Okay. What it does spoil is the 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 fact that he says what he says. I was just going to quote what he says, I which would, I think uh, is hilarious. I don't know if it'll take the passion out of it. What if do you, you think, you, Sheriff? <clears throat> I'm going to let you, you make the ruling on this one, Beth. Ooh. All right. How about this? I'm going to say it, and if you think it's too bad, I'll cut it out okay. at the end of the show. Now, for those of you listening live, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here it is. Um, oh, okay, I wrote it down. Hold on, I gotta. I, I don't want to. You really I, wanted it to be right. I, yeah. Oh gosh, I did. It's so funny. Um, is it in a trailer? No, it's not in a trailer. Okay, then it could spoil things. Uh, could hold on a second. I'll have it in a. Okay, here it is. Okay. All right. Okay. So he he's getting ready to fight the bad guy, and he says something in another language, is and he it? looks and says, "I don't think that subtitle was in my favor." <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's not a spoil. Okay, all right. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't think that subtitle was in my favor. That's funny. Yes, because it, it really did say he was like, I'm going to kill you on the subtitle. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> so I thought that was hilarious and fourth wall breaking. I'm pretty sure okay. like going out and yes. saying, talking about a subtitle. <laughs> yeah. I'll, and, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll allow it. Yay, it's allowed. It made it through. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Beth goodness! It. It's fine. <laughs> wait, wait. Does that mean you wouldn't allow it? <laughs> no, I. She had the. She had the rule. He gave me the rule. Oh, okay. So I gave her the that's gavel. That's true. That's true. He let me be. Uh, she put on the badge. He let me be the boss for a minute. Aha! Uh -huh. Got it. Got it. So, uh, but yeah, it was. It was cute. It was. It had its moments, like, 
Just like you. Know, you. You're cute. <laughs> yes, you have your exactly. moments. But it, but it also had its its wonderful like we're all family kind of a uh, a vibe to it. You know cool. the the oh, the boy okay. the boy loves his mom. His mom says you're going to save the world someday, and he's really just sort of weird weird kid who likes to invent weird things like glitter and kitty cat like things to so make villains turn to be good rather than blow them up. So the and same way course. that like Flint Lockwood in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Uh, yeah, okay. basically. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. But that's... And and then Will Smith's character, Lance, he's like all about, I'm going to blow all this stuff up. You fight fire with fire. And, a super spy. And, right. But then when he becomes a pigeon, he has to figure out that sometimes Subtlety you have to needed. win by being <laughs> soft. <laughs> Because hmm. he was soft. So. Cool. Anyway, that, so did, what, what, are your, what is your take, Jimmy? On what? Uh, we are talking about spies here. in disguise. <laughs> yeah, he was he's out getting food. Yep. Are you there? Yes. Yeah. What was my take on what? Uh, spies in disguise. I would tell you, but I didn't see it. You said you saw it. No, no, no. I, I said I saw a movie TV with TV you. Oh, I thought you saw two movies. I did. Oh, my God. But, <laughs> uh, confused. DJ, we watched Jumanji. Oh, yeah. That doesn't count. We already talked about it. <laughs> You're right, dar. Jim, you got to give him a break. His brain is covered in snot. It really is covered in snot. Okay. I, I for, You know what? That one just didn't bother, like, Going in you know, the brain. parts that I saw of Spies in Disguise, I really liked. <laughs> the, the parts trailer. from the trailer? <laughs> the trailer parts? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Perfect. That's hilarious. Okay. Excelente. Okay, well, I, I give... Uh, here's my score on that one. Uh, I give it an eight. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It was... Uh, you know, cinematography was average, and, and the acting was like, um, sorry, you could still tell it was Will Smith and um, and then uh, Tom Holland. So really, the, <laughs> you, yeah. I just, you're expecting somebody different? <laughs> I was expecting a voice change of some sort, but it okay. didn't happen. Yeah, so doesn't I, I threw down I threw down averages on that I on see. my little... My average, my my scorinator. Your averageator, scorinator. Yeah. <laughs> the DJ so. Scoratron 2000. My, That's right. My Rateatron. That's right. Yeah, so, pending. right. But anyway, it ended up with a with an eight in my my list. Nice. So, all sure. right. So, uh, I guess we'll move on to uncut gems then. Cool. <laughs> yes. Um. Okay. Let me see. This is your classic love story between a man and his undire need to do everything he can wrong. Got it. Wow. Yeah. That's just... Uh, that makes it think, sound like he's doing it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he does a lot on purpose. Like he does a lot of wrong on purpose? Oh, man. He's not a nice guy. Okay. He's a very bad guy. He's um, a naughty boy. He's, he's very not. naughty. Okay. Uh, well, you do disagree. Mm-hmm. Really? What, he's not what would bad. You, how he's would you describe some... him? He's not bad. He's just drawn that way. I'm just drawn he's, that way. It, yeah. He's just drawn that way. No, well, he's he's your typical love story. <laughs> I don't want to sound Sorry. bad. I don't, well, you? screw it. I mean, no. okay, so, okay, <laughs> would you say this is, I mean, it's a good thing that the guy, uh, like, he, uh, he uh, takes... Uh, 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 Are yeah, you going to spoil things? Yeah, what's going on? <sighs> Probably would spoil so things. So don't do but, it. All right, all right. Okay, you have your typical New York Is Jew he typical? In the Diamond District. Uh, I mean, okay. like... Always going like hustle, 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 hustle. Everything's a hustle. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. I don't think that's bad. I just think that's cultural. I think but that's But he's got him. loan sharks after him. Well, well, lots so of people, do, you know. Lots so of nice lot of people, people owe people money. That's like, yeah, I suppose I mean, so. credit. <laughs> that's kind of the, that's really the new American dream. Like, how many bill collectors do you have? Well, I don't know. I mean, like, maybe not quite like maybe not. that, but I see what well, you're saying, Jim. But the, here's the here's the review, or not the review, but the synopsis. The, uh, synopsis is on the IMDb. It says a charismatic New York City jeweler, always on the lookout for the next oh big score. I'm what? sorry, <laughs> I have an issue with the scraping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, where was I? On the Mexican score, uh, making a series of high stakes bets. That could lead to a windfall of a lifetime. Howard must perform a precarious high wire act, balancing business, family, and encroaching adversaries on all sides um, in his relentless pursuit of the ultimate win. I can I I just have to the only way I could talk about this film at this point, is just go with my ratings. Okay, yes, because don't spoil things. People don't like I'm not going to spoil things. I'm just going to go with my rating. And my overall rating on this film is a 7. Oh, okay. And, and let me tell you why. Here it is. Okay, the score. The musical score. Um, this I really enjoyed. I, I gave it a 7. It's like above average. Um, it was very much... 80s synthesized music all the way through it. And you gave it, uh, what did you give it the score? I gave it a 7. Okay. Um, the, uh, the musical score I gave a 7. You weren't feeling the, the synth? Well, the synth was great, but then there was there were a, uh, there was other music and there was uh, like just like extra talking and extra stuff going on it was super loud okay so at some point it was t- really hard to hear what the what was being said the dialogue okay the dialogue yeah so so i knocked it down a lot so i just i gave it a seven um for the story um i also gave it a seven because it was an interesting story it's you know about this guy who's um, trying to balance his his home life balance his his work home life and 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 extracurricular life okay. story it was it, you know um, it reminded me a little bit of um, the the it's a it's a great film in the seventies uh, uh, about gangsters. Oh, Godfather! That one. Godfather. There we go. Godfather. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, it did remind me a little bit of the Godfather in that, with the, uh, you know, having such high high power and having a wife and kids, and then the thing on the side, and just had all of that. Ah. You, you just ruined it. Did I? Yeah. No. Kinda. I don't think so. Oh, he was a lot a... of shit. What? <laughs> anyway. I don't think so. I think it's fine. What? Entertainment yeah. value. I didn't enjoy the story. I didn't. Well, I, oh wait, sorry. That's why you gave the bird movie a higher score. <laughs> right. Right. Um, Makes sense. So, but anyway, this the story. Like I said, it wasn't I, warm and fuzzy. No. It no. wasn't warm and fuzzy. Um. Anyway, the story. Funny, I thought. Was was a seven. There was so a lot funny of parts. funny stuff. Hilarious. Um, I imagine, yeah. Yeah. Um, entertainment value uh, because of the noise and and just all of that and the unhappy feelings um, I had. I think. Are you there, DJ? I think you muted you? again. Uh, uh I, yeah. Here I am. Sorry. And the enter- So I was going to the entertainment value. Um. <laughs> I hate when I do that hitting these buttons um so where i was okay entertainment Entertainment value value. so based on based on the the noise level and leaving and my ears were ringing and just like i felt like there was way too much being thrown at me at the same time um a lot of overstimulation 
Yeah, I gave it a two for wow. entertainment value. Okay, so yeah, you didn't really like it. No, um, but for the acting, um, wow! I think that I think that uh, Adam uh, um, Adam Sandler, <laughs> Adam Sandler, thank you, <laughs> Adam Sandler kicked ass. <laughs> like he absolutely believed him in this character. He's a good actor, absolutely. man. Like people don't give him enough credit. Uh, we've no, seen not Adam Driver Blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wrong Adam. Wrong, like wrong the Merowitz stories or whatever that was called, and yeah. then there's a yeah. couple other roles that he was he has that are serious and yeah, he's a very yeah. good actor. Yeah, I absolutely believed him as Howard. I totally believed that was him. Um, and then and then also the other characters, um, the gal who played his wife, who was uh. Who was Queen Anna in the Queen Queen Elsa? Wait, yeah, one of the one of the singing gals in the in the. In the. <laughs> What's her name? What's her name? Uh, I I don't know. I didn't look this up. I thought you were doing it. I was. I have it right Frozen. here. Say, DJ, just look at what you're what you're hold looking on. at right there. So hold um, your horses there. Hold hold your horses. Um, eat what? Uh, Idiana uh, Menzel. <laughs> I'm saying it wrong. And then that just brought me right to John Travolta. <laughs> oh, dear. oh dear. <laughs> you uh, you, you guys don't know that that happened. <laughs> like he totally butchered her name at the Oscars. Oh, 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 he oh did. did he? Yeah, a long time oh, ago. Dear. Yeah, Idina Menzel. <laughs> oh, Adina Menzel. There we go. So, who played Elsa on Frozen? Yeah. Okay. So Just the but, singing bits, right? No, the yeah. whole thing. She's okay. she's whole. all of Elsa. All right. Yeah, she's all of Elsa. But <laughs> so, here's the thing: you couldn't tell. Like there was no uh, a bit of Elsa in her voice while she was acting this part, which was absolutely awesome. Um, and that's you know what, I gave that a ten. Okay. The acting was a ten. Cool. Um, the cinematography I gave also a ten because of how gritty the film was. It was just like you knew it. It was. And the thing is, when did this take place? I don't even think it was. It was in the eighties. It was like it was. It was two thousand ten, right? Mm. I think is when the is the well, is judging the year? by the previews and they're going to Celtics games and Kevin Garnett's there so yeah anything is possible it was it. <laughs> no it well Jimmy you were there was it 2010 <laughs> Jimmy you uh, were there no. what year was it no it wasn't it wasn't that it was it was what later. year it's what like year flashed 16? up on the screen was it I okay so 13 16 I don't know I don't remember either so but anyway it was for that it was um I don't know. I thought it was really cool the way they shot it, and and really, truly making this film kind of an uncut gem. Like it was not cut the way a regular film would be cut. Now special effects, I you know, meh, mediocre. I gave it a five. They're average. It was 2013. Um, okay, 2013. Thank you. Um, the pace I thought was it was it was okay. I mean. I don't know if it could have been faster or slower, but I gave it a five. It was, it was all right. Believability, I thought, um, I thought it was believable. Uh, I mean, I guess there could be I, a guy like that out there somewhere, and and having such a the, the entire film, he had such a bad everything day night. One of the things I really liked about this film was the the Jewish culture that was brought into it. it was a scene that I think didn't even need to be there. It was kind of like weird how they, they cut from, from, Oh, I got to go deliver this somewhere. And then boom, he's in the middle of a, of a Jewish ceremony at dinner. Uh, but it's something you don't see on, in these movies and mainstream films. And I was like, I was really enjoying that. I thought this was really nice to see another culture on screen, you know, doing something that's mundane. Right. It wasn't mundane. They were. They were. They were having a. I wasn't even there. 
<laughs> they, they were reading the pestilence of of uh, Moses. They're religializing, and, right? And and then they were doing uh, the the uh, eight nights, and uh, you know they were they were doing Passover, right? Um, they they did their Passover celebration, which I don't know. That's not very mundane. I mean, it's kind of right. central to their whole religion. Yeah, I, I suppose. I mean, I suppose so. But I mean, it was dinner to me. I thought it was just dinner. So <laughs> <laughs> with family, I I don't know. Well, anyway, that's my point. This is how I feel. You can't tell me how to feel. Ooh, um, straight up. So. So I can tell uh, you how to feel. You just don't have to feel that way, right? And so that so believability though, I gave it an eight. Yeah. Um, so overall, my total uh, score for this show or for this movie is a seven. Okay. So that's I had to do it that way because there was just so much to talk about, yeah. and I didn't know how to go through it without spoiling too much. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> well, there you go, Jimmy. What are your What are your thoughts? Um. Uh, wow, where do I start? Uh, exactly. At the beginning. And then uh, at the, the beginning. End. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, all right, then. But don't spoil things. Uh, that's what I'm trying to... Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really trying to uh, avoid spoiling things. Trying to avoid the monkey noises. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> um, Last week. So uh, <laughs> it's a very complex film. It, it, it's probably the most complex Adam Sandler film, yet extremely not only auditorily but visually overwhelming. Yeah. Like if you have an auditory processing disorder. Get the get the captioning box or whatever. Yeah. Um. But it was really cool because, like DJ said, it it pointed out cultural um features that just aren't mainstream. You know, where they're where they're going through the the tests of of Moses for Passover, and the mom says the word in in hebrew and one of the children interprets that for the rest of the family and they drop the the pure olive oil on the plate they, they do the plate ceremony it, it that that was really cool uh the 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 interplay with the the diamond industry ah you know um where where you've got the brokers, you know, in 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 New York and they're criticizing people for digging up blood diamonds, but they're taking advantage of it as well. Right. You know, uh, points out some of those those features. Um I I, I left it feeling overwhelmed. I, I personally I Walked in my house and said, "That's three hours of my life I'll never get back." Oof. Wow! But, but then you have to digest it, let it see it, through. But over over the the day since, I've really thought about it, and there's a lot of value to that movie. Huh. Yeah. Um, okay. It. it I'll, I'll. I will go back and watch it again at least once in the theater. Wow. Um. Because I, Adam Sandler is one of my favorite actors. I he know. he, always throws something in there that he he ices his his disdainful cake with humor. And it, this one doesn't disappoint. There, okay. He gives a side of 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 his upbringing. I think that people don't talk about or probably don't even know right which is kind of cool i i really appreciated it um 
I, I actually give it an eight overall. Wow. Oh. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Well it done, is. sir. No monkey noises for you. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you didn't have a monkey. <laughs> what was the uh, DJ? What was the uh, Judd Hirsch was in the movie. And what a great, just, man, he was great. I think without Judd Hirsch in the movie, it, it would have been a complete flop. Wow. Truthfully. No, pin. honestly. Okay. He's a, he's a, he is a linchpin in there. So, there's that. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> All done. Okay. Sweet. Well, there it is. That's our uh, review of that. Um, I, I of that film. I just honestly, I. It wasn't your cup of tea. That's okay. It wasn't. It wasn't. Right. But I but it. I, I but it. knowing what it was, like I'm still fascinated by it. Right. So you still I mean, see I don't ever want to see it again. Your <laughs> choice to view it again. Right. Right. But but uh, overall, like I said. Like that seven, I was just, I'm feeling, is it too high of a number? But it can't be. I, I had to, I had to go through it like that. Right. Um, yeah. Anyway. All right. Well, let's go on to our, our, uh, next our, thing. Our favorite time. Our favorite time. That's right. Our, uh, uh, Th- movie that clip thing. of the week. Yeah. There we go. Our challenge. Sheesh. My brain can't think right now. <laughs> um, all right last week's which uh nobody got really nobody no nobody wow nobody eternal sunshine of the spotless mind yeah although i think beth got it yeah well <laughs> right beth has no life and just a big storage uh drive of stupid pointless crap in her head so oh. Oh, <laughs> so all Sorry, right. So here stuff. is this week's. Okay, let's go. Let's let's roll it. Hey, hold it right there. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> yes. And all you can say. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, anything else? <laughs> Positive and negative, I you're a bit. <laughs> All right, I didn't want to go that any further because then it'll spoil something. But uh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> One of my all-time favorite movies. Oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah. See, when when I say I've watched it over a hundred times, now you know. I've seen it probably that many. Well, maybe not a hundred. I've seen it a lot. I've yeah. stopped trying to guess how many times I've seen a movie. I just go, yeah, I like that one. It's almost impossible. Because I'll inevitably impossible. say too many times. I'll yeah, be like, I've seen it a million times. Yeah. That's Literally not the case. one million. One really? millions of times. <laughs> there you go. One millions of times. <laughs> I have worn out a VHS and then a DVD. <laughs> a well, DVD. now you just placed how old it is. <laughs> nice. Well, no. I was just theoretically. Oh, whoops. Uh, a, no, I just, just said it's how okay. old it is. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I think dear. people will get it or they won't. Uh, that's true. That is very true. Um, so anyway, uh, if I went to podcast, send us a text what answer that might be to you. Or you could even do it on our Marco Polo if you're a Patreon subscriber. Yeah. It's always fun. Marco Polo is fun. It goes crazy. It goes crazy. It does go crazy. <laughs> I love the crazies. That's right. What? All right, so streaming. It's time for streaming. Uh, I streamed a lot, but that's because I was sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I streamed National National Treasure on the Netflix, Aww. Uh, which brought me to Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom yeah. on Netflix. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, oh, we, we're still on The Magician, so we haven't finished that yet. Um which I'm surprised because I was sick. We could have just binge watched. Instead, the whole thing. you watched Indy and you watched. That's National right. Treasure. 
And then we watched Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Ah, that's and why he used it as an example earlier. I, I don't know think I've seen there. National Treasure all the way through. Wiggity what? Oh no? Yeah, Goodness. I don't, I don't Gotta put that, that in your, in your eyes. eyeballs. It's on Netflix. Go check it out. <laughs> it's, it's so silly in the best way. It really it's is. So, I really enjoy it. It's the kind of movie where you're just like, this could not happen. But I'm going to watch it as if it were happening. But it's happening. Yeah. It's happening. It's happening. happening. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. Um, And then I watched Robin Hood, the the latest uh, version. Oh. Which also ended up taking me to Rocket Man. Perfect. (laughs) Yes. And then because of a musical, we ended up watching Bohemian Rhapsody. Of course. Because you watched this, you're like watching. You're like watching chain lightning happen in movies. It is. It is. And then out of the out of the blue, (laughs) skyscraper. Oh yes. (laughs) Oh, one of those silly, silly rock movies. It is a silly rock movie. I loved it. So, I don't know why. I think San Andreas was better, but I am not yeah, going to totally yeah. crap on Skyscraper. Because, I mean, it's <laughs> it's crap, but it's it's fun crap. Yeah. Like, how many times can you jump that far? Yeah, you only have one leg, man. Right. One leg, and you're still jumping that Just far. Just blasting. And, yeah. Like, you got a rocket in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> butt rocket? You got a butt rocket? Butt rocket. <laughs> Nice. Oh, thanks for the title, Beth. You're welcome. <laughs> Rocket in your butt. It works. <sighs> so, uh, good. Oh. That's a good, that's quite the chain of films, DJ. That was. I, I love being sick. I get to watch all these <laughs> movies. Perfect. That's the best part. <laughs> that is the best part. If you if you don't have to go to work when you're sick, then yes. Super yeah. bonus. And I'm looking at this going, when I'm not sick, I can't watch all these films. What the hell? <laughs> I, I have to, like, that. be an adult and stuff. Ew. Oh, awful. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> well, I have to, like, go to the bank. I have to go to the DMV. I can't watch movies. Right? Terrible. Okay, DMV. before we move on to somebody yep. else's streaming. Right. Um, Hold on a second. I gotta blow my nose again. Oh, that... Poor stuffed up guy. Like I'm a little stuffy, but DJ, you can just hear it. <laughs> he definitely sounds stuffy. He does. Oh, I'm so. He sounds good. like he got a stuffy nose. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, moving on. Yes. Who's next? Who who streams something? Beth, what are you streaming right now? Uh, I was just streaming the video of John Travolta. Just <laughs> obliterating Adina Menzel's name at the Oscars in like 2014 or whatever, uh, whatever oh. year that Frozen came out, because she was coming out to sing "Let It Go" and he's just like, "Ooh, chomp butcher." Um, yeah. I watched the second season of Lost in Space on Netflix. Oh, that's right, yo. Which I thought it was pretty fun. I liked the first season though. So, um, like. There's a lot of things where you're just like, no, oh, Lost in Space. You. Oh. <laughs> but, I mean, it's Lost in Space, so what are you... What are you going to do? What are you expecting? Um, right. What else? Oh, we we unexpectedly had the baby last night, so we watched uh, The Grinch, the Jim Carrey version, and White Christmas, and Hotel Transylvania 3, all on Netflix. She was oh. very fascinated. <laughs> um, what is? I feel like I've watched more stuff. Oh, I'm fully prepared to watch uh, The Witcher, which I have not gotten into yet. But I think I'm gonna start it tomorrow. Have you seen that? Let yet, me know Tom? how that. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm kind of no. skeptical. Leary? Maybe. Yeah, Leary's a better word. Okay. Um. I'm not like super knowledgeable in the Source the game material. and the book lore really, or the book lore really at all, and then okay. the game lore slightly. And okay. I've heard mixed reviews from people who are into the lore, so I'm kind of like, eh. I mean, I don't. I'm not invested enough to like to take to time. really worry about, or, or not even that. Just like I, if I go into it, it's gonna have I'm gonna have zero expectations. You know what I mean? Like. I like Henry yeah. Cavill, so that's kind of enough to check it out. Yeah, but he's good. Yeah, I don't. 
I'm not invested to where it's like, this better not be messed up or I'm going to be really upset. Yeah, I try not to go into anything like that just because some, some I will do, inevitably though. be disappointed. If I go in thinking like, ooh, this is going to be the way I want it to be, I'm always wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so I just go like, hey, this is going to be something to cram in my eye holes for a little while. Oh, that yeah, made yeah. me happy. Oh, that made me sad. <laughs> Perfect. Welcome to my brain. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Um, oh. I feel like there was something else, but I don't know what it was. So. Oh, I had so I I had a reminder of something. Ooh, uh, the the Rocket Man. Yeah. The 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 kid who plays young Reggie. Yeah. Matthew, I'm gonna butcher the name. It's right there. Math. <laughs> What's that? I said, oh, uh, wow, yeah, yeah. that's Ilsley. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Yeah. Anyway, that kid is amazing. Like he, I thought he he tore it up. He did amazing with his, being young Reggie. Cool. And and being and singing and all that. Oh my gosh! Aww. Totally impressed by that kid's performance. I still haven't seen this, and that is sad because I want to see it. What? Yeah, I did see Bohemian Rhapsody though. So, oh, okay. It oh, was there's on, that. It was on the uh, it was on the cables, and I was able to free free eye it. Oh. Okay. So. <laughs> well, I mean, if you have if you have movies anywhere, I could I could give you my username and password. You can watch uh, that. I don't have that. But if you want to give me a password, I will talk to you after the after the podcast, <laughs> and we will we will switch <laughs> some things. Oh, sounds uh, good. Uh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't <laughs> announce that publicly. <laughs> <Jim. Yeah. laughs> Sorry. I'm, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just clearing my throat. Oh, oh I'm God. sorry that you're also no. crunchy. Everybody's no. a little bit crunchy, right? No. No, Joe's fine. No. I'm good. Joe's good. Okay. good. He's good. He's a sturdy young man. It'll hit me later. I'll, I'm yeah. not going to be so young anymore. My birthday is coming up. <gasps> He's going to be 26, kids. Aww. 26 plus 14. Oh my. Is that it? Now I gotta yeah. do some math. Wow, <laughs> you're a baby. <laughs> I, I don't know. I got some gray hairs and a stiff back that'll argue that point. Uh, but okay, you're right. Uh, you just, I just anybody younger Aww. than me, I suppose. <laughs> you're a big, baby. I'm gonna be the big four zero. Yeah, I just did yeah. that math on a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's just like thirty nine. <laughs> Is that so. also like, like thirty seven? Yeah. And it's yeah. like twenty well no, it's not like twenty anything. <laughs> it's like twenty <laughs> anything. <laughs> not at all. You ain't gotta lie to us, man. We're I'm not gonna be that fooled way. on that. Yeah, about thirty five on, it's all about the same. Okay. Like, oh. Now that <laughs> you all make that face that DJ makes on the Marco Polo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the, the stuff everybody's streaming. Uh, I love that I'm the center of attention. Yeah, everyone's streaming DJ's. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you only knew how this makes me happy. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> it is hilarious. Uh, I, I, and every time I see it, I look back to that day. Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> the best oh uh, it's so good i'm just like what are you doing what are you doing over there dj is talking on marco polo no i don't i don't think he is but he's recording oh uh, <laughs> yeah if you, if you want to see this you're gonna have to join patreon yeah, in order to see what that is uh, so whatever oh, about. whatever you spend on patreon is worth it just, just for that. Just seeing that clip. <laughs> you could download it for your own keepsake. That's you right. Kidding? I have it recorded in two I places. Have it, I have it saved as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we all use it as a reaction now. Yep. <laughs> I got to figure out how to make that like DJ's ringtone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's so perfect. <laughs> I'm an oh. emoji now. You are. You are a cartoon, my friend. And that... I makes you it. yeah, yeah so you're so 
<laughs> oh my god. I just laugh every time. Well, besides <sighs> watching me, what else are we watching in the streaming section? Uh, oh. We finished The Mandalorian. Yep. Oh, I haven't yet. Don't tell me. Oh, so it was really suddenly cool when... spoilers <laughs> yeah. bother you. It was really okay, cool spo- when, uh, go ahead and spoil it. We're not going to spoil it. We're not going to spoil it, dude. Come on. That's right. We're doing that for our our uh, our elusive exclusive. Yeah. And then we watch Whoopee. The Dead Don't Die again. <laughs> and I think again. Wow. I think we've watched it twice in the last... Twice. Uh, five, four days or so. That's a lot well, of Big Adam good. and a tiny smart car. Yeah. <laughs> that, that movie's, I think, what's, so I was, tell, I was telling Crackhead Blue this today, is like, I think that movie is underrated because a lot of people won't appreciate, like, the real subtle humor. Yeah, and absolutely. And it's pretty dry and pretty slow. Was it like a wild animal? But it's so good. Like, yeah. it's really good. If you guys get a chance to it check is. it out, you should I definitely would, watch it. Yeah, just at least watch it one time. What's it called again? The Dead, the don't, dead die. don't Die. The Dead Don't Die. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. It's the theme song. It's really good, man. <laughs> <laughs> gets me I think time. it's worth it for so many different reasons. It's a great movie, but just like the repeated use of the word yuck by a giant man <laughs> cracks me up so oh, hard. Oh, yuck. Oh, yuck. <laughs> And I've been listening to the soundtrack in my car for the last couple of days. <laughs> Has Blue, like, pulled it out of the CD player and thrown it on the ground No, yet? no, no. <laughs> no, no. But we were driving around looking for furniture yesterday, and it was, like, cloudy and gloomy. Yeah. And, like, we were listening to that soundtrack, and I'm like, dude, oh, it's, like, we're driving around it's in the happening. apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it was pretty rad. This is not going to end well. <laughs> so, you yeah, check to that the whole script? Out. Check that movie out. The movie's great. I love fourth wall breaking. I know you that do. to me it was breaking the fourth just, wall. Just just sledgehammer in that movie. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. That's it. That's Hack. it. That's, that's all it. Jimmy. Jimmy, what are you uh Um do what what did I I I watched Demon. the last episode of Mandalorian and well it was really good because um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I started awesome. watching Runaways it's a Marvel oh yeah yeah oh yeah series <sighs> Ooh, he's not feeling it no I, I am it's, oh. but it's super it's really layered ah I, I, like an I ogre or an would... onion <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there was there's a sidekick we forgot to mention. Oh, yeah. Donkey. donkey. Oh, definitely donkey. Um, yeah, no, it's it's really cool. I I like it. Um, uh, I would love to see what your what your reaction or your take on it would be, Beth. It's okay. I think you would like it. I'm I I will watch it. I'll put it in the eyes and and uh, turn on my Raider Tron or whatever. DJ is calling it. <laughs> I'm letting you know. What was it? Uh, I watched some other stuff too. Oh, I watched um, a documentary about Dr. Pepper. Oh. It's called Dublin Dr. Pepper or something. Mm-hmm. There's a big battle between Dr. Pepper Corporate and the original Dr. Pepper from Dublin, uh, Texas. Oh, like the dude Dr. Pepper? Well, see, and that's part of the story that I can't, I, oh, I can't divulge. No spoiler. You gotta watch it. It's it's actually really cool. Uh, I learned a lot. Okay. That Dr. Pepper wasn't Doc. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Pepper was a dude, but not the dude I thought. Huh. Yeah, and and the Dr. Pepper from Dublin followed the original recipe, which is not the same recipe. Yeah. <clears throat> Not the twenty-three unique right. flavors. Interesting. So Neat. no, it was it was really a cool cool documentary. I'm trying to think. I I know I watched some other yeah, stuff. I but... watched a documentary too. What was it about? Um, I watched a baking show <gasps> with my daughter. I love me a baking show. It was <laughs> Sugar Rush. Yes, I love Sugar Rush. It was one about. Uh, I don't even remember. 
it was <laughs> it must have been that great. I mean, it's it's absolutely when we talk about like cinematic nutrition, Sugar Rush is absolutely like cotton candy. It's sweet, it's fun to watch, and it's gone. No, it it was fun to watch. It was it, it was actually reminiscent for me because I watched cooking shows and baking shows with my mom. Yeah. And uh, a lot of fond memories there. Perfect. But no, it was good. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I uh, streamed much in, of anything else. Hmm. That I, shit, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't think any yeah. of us can. Have I talked to well, you guys about shit. the repair shop? No. No. Wow. <laughs> wow. DJ that was wasn't like, sure. That was the first time that DJ and Joe like synchronized yeah we're like perfect stereo <laughs> yeah. um the repair shop is on netflix and it's i guess it's a bbc show which just automatically makes it something i will put in my face um it's about it's basically the repair shop is like a thatch roof barn out in the uk somewhere and if you have a busted ass antique you can bring it to this oh, like yeah. barn full of artisans and they'll fix it for you yeah you did talk about okay, it okay thank you yeah, I remember this. Yeah, yeah. It's a fun show if you guys want to watch that sort of thing. Yeah. Bob Check Ross level snoozy towns. <laughs> What's it called again? The Repair Shop. The Repair Shop, okay. The Repair Shop. It's pretty Ooh. neat if you like that slow boat to entertainment. Well, I mean, I I remember watching shows where, like, these two dudes would go find <clears throat> this junked out car and, like, bring it back to life. Is it kind of something like that? It's or? sort of like that, but they'll be like, oh, Ingrid had a vase that her mother left her. And a vase. her teenage child smashed it up against the wall, and now it's missing some bits. So she's brought it to the conservator, who will remake this, the porcelain bit, and then paint it and match it. It's really interesting. If, if you like to watch the kind of thing where you're like, oh, they're making that. Ooh, they fixed that, that symbol monkey toy. Oh, that, um, what else? They fixed that barometer. I know how to fix a barometer now. So that's the reason I watch these things. <laughs> to, to learn how to do things? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. In a zombie apocalypse, I could do a lot of stuff. Well, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna bow out. I got an early early morning tomorrow. All right, Jim. Have a so, all right. Have a good night. See man. you later, Jim. T T F N. Bye. Bye. Um, I was just thinking about a movie <clears throat> that I watched. Oh. And it's about a dog. Yeah. Uh, Turner and Hooch. I was the ugly dog. No. Lady in the no. Tramp. Shaggy D A. No, no, it's in the theaters. I think Fox and the Hound. A, oh. <laughs> there's some snow. I'm a hound a dog. dog. The, uh, the one with Harrison Ford. Call of the Wild. Oh, no. I. It's not. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's the Togo. new one on. Yeah. It's the uh, one Netflix, on. Netflix, right? No, it's on Disney+. Oh, no, no. Plus. Disney+. Plus. That's right. With the, the, Togo. the Willem Dafoe. Yes, I totally forgot that I I, I streamed that one, too. How oh, was the it? Light, the Lighthouse, right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Titanic, uh, got it. Yeah, Titanic. Understood. Yes. The one um, with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. I enjoyed it. Cool. I, I think you should stream that one. Ugh. Uh, up to don't watch the end. Oh, spoiler! But end. I appreciate you just ruined it. it. It's okay. I oh no! I appreciate oh, no. it because that just means that I don't have to deal with that. Yeah, don't deal with that. Watch up until the point where. Yeah, da, 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 da. No, no. I just won't watch no. it. <laughs> yeah. No, you should watch it. It's really good. I don't wanna. No, no, no. If you no, can't no. finish it, if you can't watch finish it, it, then it's not a complete. Product. Yeah, if I can't you watch can. it, no, no, no. If I can't finish no, no. it, it'll make me itchy. So D- technically, the story really ends when when the when the uh, the the vials when you see the end of what the vials do. Uh, okay. I can't tell you what happens with the vials. Well, but Blue but I, I can tell you that. Well, it feels to have What's that? Ending correctly. Anyway, go ahead. So yeah, stop when you see the the end of the vials. Oh, Don't go watch it anymore. Okay, I will definitely do that. Yeah, so it is worth a watch. It really <laughs> sure is. Sure, it is. Yeah, um, but don't watch the end. Okay, thanks for so. that. <laughs> Absolutely glad I could help. Yep. Don't watch the end. <laughs> 
but it's a cute it's a really good movie i think they did a good job okay except for that so. last thing <laughs> right <laughs> right uh-huh. exactly what else we so, got uh, uh that okay so i if that's all we got streaming next week's openings really isn't very much uh openings uh the grudge is coming out oh like uh, another one new one or yeah, another one? a new one it's a new one and then, and then this what this is what made me think of the 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 to, uh, to Togo right. sorry um, sandwich adoring um, and adoring is a about a vet uh, a, a man who's a veterinarian okay who uh, sees these six animals and then each animal has has a connection with. Something within the family or something going on is a little drama or slash uh, really neat stuff that happens. Um, and then all six families have this. So it's six different stories, but all connected by the vet. Oh, okay. It's like six different mini stories. Okay. So, um, but I don't know when, if they're coming out here, because even uh 1917 didn't come out here right in in san diego it didn't no no i can't find it anywhere here either yeah so it's probably coming out somewhere but it's just been very limited release um they just wanted it in here for the oscar stuff (laughs) yep and then that's that's why they dropped it they dropped it for the first of the year when did 1917 open uh christmas day Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't open here until January. Yep. Yeah. Um, what and the so did so it's did another one. It's because they wanted to be in uh, for the the Oscar running. What the heck? Yeah. They're like, we I can't know. wait until next year. Plus, if we open it in January, everybody will have seen other movies before the end, and the voting the... it'll be farther away. What the heck? Yeah. What the heck? What That's the... what I was thinking. Got a muffin for you, hooch. The got a so rocket we get in your the butt. grudge this weekend. <laughs> what was that, dude? I said, so we get the grudge this weekend. We, I know DJ loves some scurry movies. Uh, um, and also, Just Mercy came out on Christmas Day, and oh. that wasn't anywhere either. Yeah, that's not here either. What is yeah. that? That's the one about the um, the lawyer boy who goes to clear the right, right, DJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clear yeah. the clear innocent the men's name. names. Yeah, it looks oh, good. Okay. I can't wait to see it. I really can't you should, wait. You should Google it. Yeah. Maybe I'll we'll Google it. It has uh what's yep. his handsome face? Uh yep. Michael B. Jordan. I'll Google it. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan. And the in Jamie it. Fox He's the is in it. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Okay. I remember seeing that a trailer for that. Yeah. A yeah. single trailer for that. Absolutely. Yeah. A a long trailer for that. Yup. Okay. So uh with that, um box office this weekend, holy moly. If you remember last week's box office, uh-huh. it's pretty much the same, yeah, except for there's two new ones. <laughs> except for those uh, two new num- ones. Yeah, so the number one was Star Wars what? with $72 million. Nobody that likes little, Star That Wars. little indie flick? Yeah. Yeah, that, you know, little indie flick. And then Jumanji 2 Jumanji. made more money this weekend than it did last weekend. At thirty five million dollars. Wow. It's up it's up by thirty three percent. Holy crap. <laughs> um and then making more money than last weekend, Frozen two hey, at sixteen point eight million. Holy mackerel. I was gonna go and see that again this week, but I didn't have time. No, you haven't had time. <sighs> you and your non timery stupid time. Uh, but anyway, that's up by 30% as well. Wow. By the way. That's crazy. Um, number four, uh, Little Women at $16.7 million, Ooh, So not far out. behind. I should have seen that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that's one of the reasons Mom wanted me to be named Beth. <laughs> is because oh. Beth and Little Women is so nice. She's she is <laughs> also nice. the one that dies. Dies. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, crap. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Yeah, thanks, thanks for that. <clears throat> but yep. she's so nice. Too bad she I didn't is. follow in her footsteps. And and she's a pianist. Yes, <laughs> I can't do that either. 
<laughs> you can't. Well, it looks like you can't die or play the piano. Well, so we're crap. <laughs> <laughs> Double failure. Can't you do Ruin anything our... right? No, I am useless. <laughs> no. <laughs> but um, but that will be our video uh, this week because we did put that one in. Oh, our you eyes. did seize it. Yes, we did seize it. Um, but anyway, so uh, number five was Spies in Disguise at thirteen million dollars. Nice. So they made they it they, they cost twenty two million to make, so they might make it up by the end of its run. <laughs> it's cute. It's a good movie. Go watch it. Whoa. Says Lilo. The cat said it was good. <laughs> this cat says it's good. That's right. Um, so with that, uh, future movies and trailers. I love seeing Ghostbusters, by the way, oh, right? on the big screen. I finally so, saw did you it. see the spores, molds, and fungus? Yes, I saw that and the book the stacking. The book stacking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was good. Yeah. Um, another one that looks really good from the, you know, Lynn... What's his name? Lynn something. Uh, uh, I sound really funny. You oh do. Gosh. You're stuffed up as hail. <sighs> Super stuffed up. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm going to do it again. Lynn manuel Miranda. That's it. Ah, oh, perfect. Uh, I was just writer guessing. of Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, but, you sure didn't. <laughs> that shit was but snot don't worry, right I'm cutting my all, <laughs> Right? I'm cutting them all out anyway. I have to. Oh, this whole thing, man. In that yeah. case, oh, yeah. fuck. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not cutting that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, uh, Lynn manuel Miranda. Miranda. Miranda, that's right. He wrote this one. It's called In the Heights. And it looks like a really fun film. It's like got singing and dancing, and they're dancing on walls. And just like, it really looks like a fun film. So I can't wait to see that one. Nice. Um. We'll probably go see it, but I'm like, meh, it's Peter Rabbit 2, <laughs> The Runaway. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, I can't believe they did another one of those. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, I don't, there's not much about it. Um, the trailer is really a teaser. Artemis Fowl. Oh. It's a Disney film. Yeah, it's yeah. a Harry Potter. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So... Um, but one that really looks good, they just recently released a trailer for Tenet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I first That's... saw the trailer for that, I was like, oh, look at all these reversed shots. And then I was like, oh, it's part of the storyline that they're reversed shots. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was like, wow. So it's it reminds me of um, R.I.P.D., <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, uh, but okay. probably more serious. <laughs> I just I think that that it's a sim- similar storyline where they they die but they don't and I'm I don't know how this works. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing it. You got really quiet. Do you just do you think it was something else? Was it? No, I um, got distracted by something. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man, you guys. Got it. All right. So, uh, but the tenant looks good. I can't wait to see that. Uh, any other films you guys want to talk about that's future? Because we already saw Star Wars. Uh, I know. I feel bereft. I don't. Um, I don't yeah, have anything not... to mumble and be subliminal about. Yeah, not at all. Did Did you see Annabellum is coming out? It's a Bloomhouse. Yep. Uh, film. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even I'm, sure what that is. Yeah, I'm just gonna do what I did for Star Wars and just say, lots of things. What? <laughs> lots of things are coming out. No. Oh. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Oh, yay! I'm like, I watched the trailer again. I'm like, all right, you know. I yeah. Hope it's, I hope it's that's the it's what it is and. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what I'm trying to say right now, but I get I get what you're yeah. saying. You you're doing yeah. the cautiously optimistic thing. Yeah, but it looks like it's gonna be a good one. I think. Yeah, I'm ho- I, I I'm think hoping. so too. I hope so too. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm excited. I just I get so giddy every time I see that trailer. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm a I I'm an 11 year old boy again every time that comes out. Oh, you're an 11 year old boy yeah. anyway. 
Uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> Probably. All right. <laughs> Who can't spell worth an S H I R T, I tell you. Well, that wasn't uh, really what I was going for, but you're such a kid at heart. Oh, thank you. Well, um, up next, we want to create something for next week's uh, dis- topic to- of discussion. Um, wow. <laughs> I know, Excuse like me? the good sidekicks. He's did, like on a roundabout. It's like that scene in European Vacation where they just keep going around and he keeps pointing out like... I can't get out! <laughs> He's like, yeah. oh look, there's Big Ben, Parliament. <laughs> how about... He knows where he's trying about, to get, but he just keeps passing the exit. How about films with people that have disabilities? Because... Okay. Like, I watched Skyscraper, and that kind of gave me the idea. (laughs) (laughs) So, Oh, that movie. movie. I still haven't seen that. Oh, that movie. Right. You should watch it, Joe. I like The Rock. I mean... Yeah. So, you've... He's one of my favorite, like, wrestling personalities from when he was... You know, doing that. Were you on the show when I did my uh, theory about the three types of movies that The Rock does? Mm, it sounds familiar, but I don't remember. Uh, it's like the ones that are very self-aware oh, oh. of how ridiculous they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, the funny kids ones, and then the ones that are not aware of how ridiculous they are. And Skyscraper feels to me like it is not aware. So it's yeah, trying to be sure serious, doesn't. but it's definitely not. Yeah. Right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's goofy as hell. Um, but it, I mean, it's fun to watch. It's you you watch it and you're like, ha ha, that would never happen ever, not even one time. But okay, sure, it's The Rock. Hey, right? right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's not how gravity works, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I think it's a funny yeah. movie. It's a fun movie. It is. Yes. I enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so what do you think? Is that a good topic? Uh, yeah. Real real or unreal disability. It doesn't matter as long as it's featuring disability. So somehow. like, um, does Johnny Dangerously <laughs> count? Because the guy says, I am handicapped. I'm psychotic. Ha! <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I guess that would I would that would count uh what's what is that uh that wonderful film um uh well we'll talk about it next week. Okay. We'll talk about it next week. Cuz that wasn't enough further. for me to guess, I'm sorry. It's not going to be. It's not going to be. I tried. The one film, you know, the one they made the one time with the stuff. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> one with the things in it. Yes. Oh, yes. people. Scott. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, remember yeah. That one? Remember yeah. That one? Dr. Doolittle. Oh, that one's coming out. Yeah, that one is coming. It's out. actually Ooh. just called Do Little Beth. Don't. It is. Don't, You're uh, right. Don't impose don't, title. Don't overdo. On it. Don't overdo little it. Whoa! Ah, oh, that was a bad. good one. Oh, I was like bad. it. <laughs> nice. Oh my God. Well, let us know <laughs> your favorite Jesus. film uh, that has disabilities in it. Okay. Uh, at five one two podcast or, or send us an re- email if you can't remember the number five one two podcast that's right exactly uh, shout out at tfwmovies.com or at tfw movies on on twitter <laughs> it's tw i'm like wait where's the tfw sorry twitter facebook or instagram Oof. boy i really messed that up because it's twfb and ig on the notes you're all wrong <laughs> oh <laughs> Goodness. <sighs> okay. Why do we why don't we just plug something? Why don't we plug? Plug something. Like the, Big Chacho's standard tattoo parlor. The leak in this boat. The, I'll plug the leak in this boat, that's right. Um well Big Chacho could do that because yeah. he's got he's got some uh pokey things that go into holes hmm. we call them pores. That, um, uh, uh, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and just put the kibosh on that. <laughs> that's a good idea. Big we Chacho. Have... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Big Chacho. Anyway, uh, find yourself in San Diego wanting a tattoo. You're going to head all the way down to Chula Vista. It's actually not that far. Um, like, what, 10 minutes away? Oh. Uh, Broadway. Go down that way. Look for, look for uh, the standard tattoo parlor. Because anywhere else is below standard, let me tell you. Oh, there you go. It's not. Nice, yeah, nice Chacho's one. got it. 
So, um, anyway, we also uh, really like listening to the 29 Toes podcast. We do. Um, they're fun guys, uh, you know, probably our cousin show at this point. <laughs> Why, you didn't like calling it our sister podcast? Well, they're all guys. I don't know. You can still call it that. Okay. Let's... I mean, there are a lot of guys in sister cities, too. Oh, okay. Good point. Good point. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see what they like to call it. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to <laughs> insist that we call it our sister podcast if the guys are just like, ew, we're not girls. If the guys go, ah, yuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, yuck. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. Uh, Beth, do you want to plug anything? No. I got nothing to no. plug. Nothing to plug. Like the theater is closed for the season. Yay. I done did it. Jo- I survived. Joe, do you want to plug something? Yeah, man. I'll plug my Twitch channel. Do uh, I haven't it. been streaming because it's the holidays, so I decided, you know what? I'm not going to be streaming until the new year starts. Yeah. But, oh. Well, uh, if you want to find me on those streams, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash apostle underscore OFC. Uh, we do, we play games, we listen to tunes, we chat. It's a fun time. You can find me and Crackhead Blue there Woo! pretty much every time. She's always there. Uh, it's good. It's good stuff. So, yeah. Yay. Perfect. It is Sweet. fun. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, it's pretty nifty. Um, when I'm not, like, walking the dog and doing whatever else promotional stuff or anything else, um, I'm on there. Or just watching <laughs> movies. <laughs> Watch. I don't even watch movies unless I'm sick. <laughs> but I've been true. sick and he you hasn't watch been streaming all the time. Oh, that's true in the theater. Yes, the theater. The theater. Yes. Um, spreading my germs all around. Yeah, just I can't like believe an you, outbreak. Man. Can't believe it's you. Okay. It's okay. Nobody get. It's it's just a it's just a cold. Just it's not really anything. That's not get okay. ready for vomiting and diarrhea. I have not had any of that at all. Remind me to send you that TikTok. It's hilarious. Okay. Send me that TikTok. I'm going to do it right now. Okay. Do it while we're talking. Uh, Thank you. How about this? You've been listening to the podcast. Thanks for watching. Uh, I want to thank, uh, first of all, our Patreon subscribers. Lucas, Abby, Tyler. Uh, Teacher Jam Strauss, Sean, and Crooked Blue. Thank you all for being our Patreon subscribers. Uh, you help uh, take care of all the extra business that we have. That that, that uh, well, I've been forward do it, taking care of for years. Holy Man, I have to. I, I can't speak today. My brain isn't getting enough oxygen. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, okay, where was I? All right, Patreon subscribers, thank you. That's really what I want to say here. Thank you very much. Um, Joshua Struthers, thank you very much for uh, being on our show. Uh, Big Checho, again, thank you very much. You're very supportive of our show, and I know uh, uh, our logo is amazing. We might have to change a little bit because <laughs> for for iTunes, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, I want to thank the cast members. That's right, because uh, without you, where's our show, right? Uh, thank you, DJ McGee, Jimmy Harris, Beth Levine, That's and me. Joe Ray. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then I want to sub- say thank you to our support crew. Those people that that uh, keep us going keep us motivated, keep us uh, watching the movies or, or just saying, you know, you know, do the show today. Come on, you could do it. Um, Crackhead Blue, Dorothy Fielden, Jackie Harris, and Penny McGee. <laughs> yeah, the ladies. The ladies. Uh, and then I also want to thank you, the listening audience, the person listening to the show my voice right now unless you hate asmr oh. <laughs> uh so i won't do that anymore um but i want to thank you definitely for uh you know listening Listen. streaming us Thanks we for love watching. it also listening. Yeah. yes exactly um whether it's uh, on youtube which uh I, you know only a couple of people watch on youtube uh but anyway thank you appreciate it yeah and uh, bye. And bye. Cut. So.
that is uh, that is his thing. That uh, was the most precise synopsis you've ever given. It's because he did. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm t- I, I know you were reading it. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, hold on, hold a second. Um, I need to stop for a okay. second. Okay. Are you going to sneeze? Close to you that. I got to blow nose. my nose. <laughs> I got to. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm sure it spiked my, uh, oh, my you, microphone. You muted it. <laughs> yeah. we didn't hear I, anything. I try to mute mucus. That's, I mean. Oh, were you like <laughs> hacking up right now? Oh, gosh. It was horrible. Are you dying? A little. No, no. We only need to call the ambulance. Do you have norovirus? No. Ooh. Nora. <laughs> who? No. I mean. <laughs> All right. Nora. Let's go back to this review. Okay. So, so I just I just ended the uh, I just read right, the review. You was pre- read the, quite synopsis. Read the IMDb good. synopsis. Synopsis. Good job, buddy. There we go. So um. <laughs> <laughs>